Uh, Jacob Elordi in Del Toro Monster Mash. I cannot wait for this movie. Del Toro is the perfect person to bring Frankenstein to the screen in in this day and age. Let, let's jump. Let's jump right to the to that part then. Um, Jacob Elordi put this up. This is him in the makeup. This is he just posted this. He Which so I, cool. I'm not a huge fan of Jacob. Uh, mm -hmm. He's hit or miss for me. I was very excited because originally it was supposed to be Andrew Garfield. Uh, right. And he dropped up and was replaced by Jacob. So, he, I mean, hit, again, hit or miss. I did not care for him in Saltburn. I watched Euphoria. I thought he was great in there. Uh, Elvis was pretty good. So I, I would be very excited to oh, see wow. how his portray of Frankenstein. Lily? Um, I mean, yeah, I've been impressed with him. Like I said, I just kind of saw him. Everyone was making a big deal out of him. And I was like, ah, it's because mm -hmm. he's just, I mean, he's pretty. He's a handsome guy. But then I started watching a lot of his, a lot of his work. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Which makes me feel bad because he played Elvis and Priscilla. And Austin played Elvis and Elvis. And now I'm like, oh, oh no, I can't pick like, well, obviously it's going to be Austin. But yeah, I'm excited. I really want to see him in this. Here's mad respect I have for Jacob because this guy is a beefcake, handsome boy, and he's doing the monster. He's like, Del Toro movie? Sign me up. What? I got to be the monster? Sure. I'll do that. He's got really good, great built for it. Del Toro, after he started the month of February sharing on his ex account, pictures of his scouting froze in Canada for his own adaptation of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein this past week. Uh, made waves on social media. Jacob posted this image of in makeup of the story's monster. Del Toro's Frankenstein is currently in production in Toronto and Ontario, Canada. Uh, it also stars Mia Goth, Oscar Isaacs as Dr. Frankenstein, and Christoph Waltz as Dr. Pretoria. Here's what I did not know. His character, which is, wishes to continue the experiments started by Frankenstein 40 years after the story's main events what do you think of that this is not this is not the first frankenstein iteration mm -hmm. it's going to be 40 years after that that's kind of interesting i think it's a good idea for I hate the word this word modern day audience because this book has been adapted multiple times to screen mm. uh, i completely trust del toro in this i've not been disappointed by any of his movies whatsoever i mean mm -hmm. one of my is probably in my top five is pan's labyrinth it's mm. up there and his ability to to make monsters seem beautiful mm. and have humanity to them yeah. this i think he's perfect in it and i'm okay with it being set uh 40 years after where where the original book has taken place nicely said how about you lily what do you think um, of it being 40 years after the fact? And this cast is insane. Stack. I'm glad they did that too, because every single time we get like a classic story, they always want to start it from the beginning and it's always the same thing. And we're like, we already know this part of it. Give me something new that you're going to add to it. And it's perfect that, yeah, the Toro is the one that's doing this because, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see how it actually looks too. Like how he, how he, uh, like all the elements he's going to bring in to, to set the tone with the movie. Because, mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. my gosh, all of his, a lot of his sets in his movies are just beautiful. Like the lighting that he chooses, like everything has some kind of like symbol in it. I, I can't wait. I'm so excited for this. I, uh, I want to add one more thing about this. Uh, sure. Everybody's focused on Jacob, but Mia Goth, I oh. think a lot of people don't give her credit. She's fantastic, especially in the horror genre with Pearl X. Uh, I think it's Mac Maxine coming Maxine's out. Maxine's coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think people don't give her enough credit because we have, this is a fully stacked cast. Yep. Obviously, Oscar Isaac, Jacob, they're a little bit bigger than she is in, in the mainstream news, but I think a lot of people are going to underestimate Mia. Mia's really great at what she does. Well, and she's, I, I totally, first of all, I totally agree. I'm, we're huge fans of Mia Goth here. We've gone to see her movies in the theater uh she's always present always committed uh and you know she's gonna stand out just because it's a bunch of dudes and her so yeah. that that's you know <laughs> that helps <laughs> and it's del toro it's like oh this is fantastic um so yeah that's the news there uh we've we've given our our little opinions uh what do you guys think 
Let us know, comment, all that good jazz.